Hello everyone, welcome to December Let's Go Affishing of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, known as the Let's Go Affishing. It's a time we celebrate Jesus Christ, the reason for the season. It's also a time for us to introduce Christ to you as we bring as many as possible to the kingdom of God. My name is Lillian Ogedegbe and I welcome you to Quara State. Um, I am in the state capital, Elori, and I'm standing on the ground of Kaba uh, Uria J in Amoyo here in Elori, Quara in Nigeria. I'm actually on the campground, the campground here in Elori, and having been here a few hours ago, I can perceive the presence of God on this campground here in Elori, Quara State. Um, I can perceive this an anointed ground, and I believe that everyone who steps his or her feet on this campground today for this program and every other time we gather here would definitely encounter God. The theme for this year's Let's Go Our Fishing is the everlasting Father, whom I know you will encounter today today in the name of Jesus as there will be deliverances, there will be prayers answered, there will be healing and salvation. At the moment, um, we're having praise and worship. People are gradually coming in and taking their seats under the tent even as we await the arrival of a highly esteemed father in the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, who will be ministering today. God bless you so much for staying with us. Connect because the everlasting father would definitely reach you as you stay with us on this year's Let's Go Fishing. I'm Lilian Nogedegbe. Please stay with us here in Quara State. Mm -hmm. Let somebody shout hallelujah. If you know that you know and you know that you will enter the new year with celebration. An unspeakable joy. Let me hear your roaring hallelujah. Permit me to read Psalm one o Psalm nine Psalm ninety five. I read from verse one to four. Aoka Latinu we only Daffidi Ori Cocon Lenia Don Wesa Kinesi Caro Psalm ninety five Ori Caro Dini or Goro. I read only. Verse 1 to 4. Oh, come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Amen. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Amen. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the east is his also. Brethren, this particular call is not an appeal. It is even beyond a command. We are commanded, we are ordered to come. We are invited to come. And ordered to sing unto the Lord. And make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. My brother, my sister, this is a day that we have been waiting for. And first and foremost, we ought to make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Therefore, rise up to your feet and shout a thunderous hallelujah. And we are to thank God 
We have so many reasons to thank God. First and foremost, we are to thank God for the gift of life. We are to thank God for seeing us through year 2023. All the way from January 1 to this December and without any doubt this year will not end you. This year will not end me. We shall enter year 2024 with great joy. I want you to close your, I want you to close your eyes and begin to appreciate God for bringing you here today. You are fulfilled one condition condition that we are ordered to call. Otimu ashati Olorun pa fun wa pe ka wa se. Come and you have come. Olorun ni pe wa iwo si ti wa. So thank God for life. Ashati du pe lowo Olorun fun ye. Thank God for being here today. Du pe lowo Olorun po wa ni yin le ni. Can I hear your Prayer of thanksgiving. Raise your voice louder. I say, Father, I thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. Thank you for August. Thank you for September. Thank you for October. Thank you for November. Thank you for December. Go ahead and begin to thank God. It is good to enter with Thanksgiving. I want you to thank God for all the Lord has done for us. Individually, collectively as a family, collectively, collectively as a church. Go ahead and say, Father, we thank you. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the miracles. Miracles of sleeping and of waking up. Oh, you are able to visit the toilet by yourself. Oh, you are not you, you, using artificial means to eat. Oh, no. God has been very, very faithful for taking care of us. Go ahead and praise the name of the Lord. Go ahead and say, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Two years ago, we had the privilege of hosting our daddy and we have not recovered from the blessing of that, that, that visit. Therefore, I want you to say, Father, we thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for the gift, wonderful gift of our Father in the Lord that you have given us. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving time. Today, we are going to pray. I say, Father, during this meeting, do a new thing in my life. Do a new thing in the life of my family. Do a new thing for your church. Do a new thing in this day. Do a new thing in government. Change our story from today. 
ahead and talk to God. Go 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 ahead and talk to God. Do anything for me. Do anything through me. Do anything, oh Lord. Go ahead and pray. Do anything, Father. Please do a new thing. Do a new thing. In Jesus' name we pray. And tonight, today, oh Lord. Let me, oh Lord. We hand over the service into your hands. We hand over this special program into your hands. Lord, take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Do a new thing in all our lives. Father Almighty God. Baba. We lift up our daddy in the Lord in your able arms. Every loving with your power. Oh, you are dashing with your power. Please, Lord Almighty God. Grant him a new strength. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Fresh anointing. Oh, you are so good to fall. Yoke of sickness. Bobo adaga isan. Yoke of barrenness. Adaga agan. Yoke of bondage. Adaga ide. Lord Almighty. Allah wa la bara o. Lord release your anointing. Adaki fami ororo yon po janti re re. Concerning everyone that you have, you are marked to be part of this meeting. Bob. That are yet to arrive at this place. We had that to bring them in hundred of thousands. And bless each and every one of us today. Let there be multiple testimonies. And forever, O oh Lord, let your name alone be. Glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. If you believe the Lord have answered you, let me share your Lord the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as we continue in this program this moment, we want to invite. The regional region four praise team to lead us in the sessions of worship and praises. Afekpe awa current region ikere lati dari wani nuri. Over to you. Enya kore.
up now out and greet daddy as his children now I use your way under one minute you are welcome sir you are welcome sir thank you sir you're welcome sir all your children in Quara we are saying you are welcome sir Please Please be be sir. Sir. it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome our father in the Lord to, to, give the to give the word of life daddy you are welcome sir daddy you are welcome sir Baba, Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Now, when, when, when we talk about choir, you know, Elorin is my second home. I've been listening to the choir in Elorin since 1979. So I know they are among the very best in the world. And so, uh, let's go straight to what we have in mind. I know without any doubt that there is somebody here now whatever the devil may try you will see the new year. Now if you are that fellow, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Please just take the picture from him. God bless you. So please be seated. You know, normally when I, I go a fishing, everywhere I go, I just come down, pray for the people, and run away. <laughs> but whenever I come to Elorin, I won't just pray, I will say a word or two. Baba, come back to one morning, oh, can you eat that rap? Oh, sorrow, come, I'll take you. Because this is home. I'm home. I am home. 
Now we are talking about the everlasting father. <laughs> you are not hearing. Ah. Well, engineers help. Because nobody has been clapping like this since morning. We are talking about the everlasting father. And we find the passage in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. See, Jesus Christ has many names. And each name has its own significance. When he says, for example, I am the son of man. He's telling you, I'm your elder brother. We are relatives. When he says, I am the way, He's saying that, look, if the way seems to be blocked, call on me, I will open the way. But in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, He gave him many names. He started with wonderful which means full of wonders. And that one is saying, you can do wonders for you. He can even turn you to a wonder. So I can tell you straight away, a miracle is coming your way. That will cause people to open their mouth in wonder. And then he says, My name is Cancelor. Which, which means the one who gives advice. That when you have a problem that human sense cannot solve. We bring the problem to him, he will solve it. Like in Daniel chapter 2, a king had a dream and forgot the dream. And then called the wise men together. He said, I had a dream, I forgot it. Tell me your, my dream and tell me the interpretation. And the people said, Kapi, see, nobody ever has anyone to do this. Tell, tell us your dream and then we'll tell you the interpretation. He said, if you don't tell me my dream and the interpretation, I will kill all of you. And Daniel said, just give me one night to consult with my God. Cancel. That night, God told Daniel the dream and the interpretation. Because the father I'm talking about has the wisdom that no human being ever has. Which is why I'm telling all the students who are here today. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never fail another exam. And then they call him the mighty God. Alara. 
the one with whom nothing shall be impossible. Is the one who said to a woman who was already 90 years old, he said, you are going to have a son in nine months' time. And when that woman began to laugh, he asked her a question. Is anything too hard for the Lord? I want you to tell the fellow next to you. Tell the fellow. My own will not be too hard for the Lord. And then finally they call him everlasting father. That we want to talk about for about five minutes. Two words here. Father Baba and everlasting. Now, Father is not a name. Baba is a title. And Father means the source. Baba, And it also means the provider. Now, when we say everlasting Father, we are talking about the one who was at your source. The one who said, before I formed you in the bed, I already knew you. This one who was at your source knows your end from your beginning. That is why whatever he has decided for your life, nobody can stop him. Because when he says yes, nobody can say no. When he opens a door, nobody can close it. That's why I can tell you straight away. It doesn't matter what your enemy may be planning. You will reach your goal. <laughs> and it's also the provider. And is the richest of all fathers. He's the one who says silver is mine. Silver is mine. Gold is mine. He's the one who can make rich without sorrow. Which is why I'm saying. You may not believe me, but there is someone here today. Before the end of the year, God is going to do something for your family. So that your family will never know poverty again. Now, this everlasting father. Is the greatest of all the doctors. Is the first one ever to perform an operation. And when he did that first operation, not a drop of blood fell to the ground. That is why it doesn't matter what the doctors have told you. Because you are here today, the doctors will get a surprise. Now I can go on and talk about this, my father, for a long time. Because every son loves to boast about his father. My father is the one who can promote. He can pick a beggar from the dunghill. And, and begin to promote. 
to such an extent that he will begin to sit among kings. I know him. And there's something about him. Whatever he has done for others, he can do for you. That's one of the reasons why we call him everlasting. You see, if your father is the president, then for eight years you can enjoy all the powers of the president. But after eight years, he has to go. And your father will become ex president. But this father I'm talking about, nobody voted him to power. And nobody can vote him out of power. He's the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the ending. Before the world was, he was God. After the world has gone away, he will still be God. That, that is why your future does not depend on anybody. Your future depends on this everlasting father. And I have a joy to tell you. Your tomorrow will be all right. It doesn't matter what situation you are in right now. I know him. I'm an example of what he can do. I have told you before. <laughs> My village. Not too long ago, I wanted to go home. In an helicopter. And they want to find where is this place you say you are going. It's not on the map. <laughs> it is so tiny, they didn't bother to put it on the map. It's there now. There. <laughs> And then my father was so poor. The poor people call him poor. But then, when he picked up the beggar from the dunghill, a day came. I went to one nation in Africa. I say I want to meet the president so I can pray for him. They say, okay, he will see you for 15 minutes. He kept me for five hours. When I told him your people are waiting, he said, let them wait. He said, I don't know when I will see you again. Now that I've seen you, uh, the best I can get, I will get you. The son of a farmer. Poorest farmer. From a village that is not on the map. God picked him up from the dumb hill. And now the president is saying, I can't let you go. I prophesy to someone here today. Before you leave this world, you'll be dining with kings. And he's an everlasting father. So that brings us to the big question. Are you one of his children? 
Because a woman came to him one day. He said, please, I need a miracle. He said to her, I can't give the bread of children to dogs. My miracles are for my children. Are you one of his children? You see, because the Bible tells us God knows those who are his own. You can't pretend when we are talking about it. In Elisha, when they are talking, they will say, every Yesha man is the son of a wife. But when the night falls, Owa knows how many children come to his house to sleep. If I ask you now, how many children of God are here? All hands will go up. But will God say you are one of his own? You see, those who belong to him, they don't sin. He told his children, be holy for I am holy. The children of a holy God must be holy people. So if you say you are his child, and you are still living in sin somebody must be deceiving somebody so if you want to be sure if you want to be, you want to be absolutely sure you are one of his children you have to say bye bye to sin you have to call on him to save your soul. That is why if you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, so that you can become a son of the everlasting father, I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, come and stand before me here so that we can pray for your salvation. Once you become one of his own, you can enjoy all his benefits forever. So I'm counting now. The choice is yours. I'm counting. If you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to be sure of your salvation, come now. One. Don't wait for your friend. It's between you and God now. It doesn't matter what your friend may think. It is your life you want to surrender to Jesus, not to so. Three. Four. Hurry up, those of you on the way. Because I want to pray for salvation now. Good. Those of you who are ready in front, 
And those of you who are on the way, cry to him. He said, everlasting Father, have mercy on me. Save my soul. I want to be one of your children. Save my soul. I'm saying bye-bye to the devil. I'm saying bye-bye to a life of sin. I just want to do your will. Please save my soul. Go ahead, pray. And the rest of us that are sure of our salvation, let's stretch our hands towards this, our brothers and sisters. And beg the Almighty God to please save us. That as He has saved us, he will save them also. Please pray for them. For just two minutes, it's just safe safe for them. Anyone who is still coming, hurry up now. Because I'm about to pray for salvation. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Just keep coming. Make sure you get there before I finish praying. Thank you, Jesus. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you, Father. Yeah, I can see you. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. You're not too late yet. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. I thank you for your word. And I thank you for the people who have come now. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Save their souls. Write their names in the book of life. Receive them into your family. From now on, when they cry to you, please answer them by fire. And I, as from today, let them dwell with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Ah, now, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Good. Now, I want to make you a, a promise as a servant of God. From now on, I will be praying for you. And very soon, you will be receiving miracles. Even some miracles you have not asked for. Then you will know there is somebody somewhere praying for you. And that somebody will be me. So I'm going to need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. There are some counselors around you, they will help you. They will collect this information for me. But I want you to wait here right now. Because I want to pray for everybody. Now, those of us who are here, and we believe that today is our day, that today God is going to answer you. Let us stand up and shout hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. After that, you will then, you will pray for yourself. And, you know that graph, and God is going to answer you today. 
My Father, my God, I want to bless your name. I want to thank you because this is the day you have made. And today you are going to perform miracles in the life of this your children. My Father, my God, whatever this your children will ask you today, before the sun sets. Father, please give to them. If they ask for healing, give it to them. If they ask for deliverance, give it to them. If they ask for the fruit of the womb, give it to them. If they ask for promotion, give it to them. If they ask for breakthrough, Father, please give it to them. If they ask for something very difficult, give it to them. Father, let this day be a day they will never forget. Father, before Christmas Day, let everybody here have a testimony. And when you've done it for them, don't let them ever forget you. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now it is your turn to pray. I want you to think of something big. Something only God can do. And then lift up your voice to him. And say everlasting father. Before Christmas Day. Give me this particular miracle. For the, for the next five minutes. Forget everybody. Forget everybody. And just focus on God. Father, before Christmas Day, give me this particular miracle. Go ahead, ask him. May the Lord answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. We have just come to the end of day one of the December 2023 um, annual Let's Go Affection of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I am Lillian Ogedegbe and the event today has reached you from the Redemption Camp here in Elorin, the state capital of um, Quara, Quara State um, capital. And uh, we are here at Oria J Town Va Amayo. Well, we thank God for the experience we had here today, for the miracles, for the signs and for the salvation of souls that were saved to the kingdom of God. Of course, is the season that we are celebrating Jesus, the reason for the season. I want to say Merry Christmas to you and a prosperous Happy New Year in advance and God bless you for watching. Um, Let's Go Affection continues. It's just day one. Join us for day two as you stay tuned to Dove TV. I'm Lillian Ogedebe. See you later.